Yeah, you're back here to save soldier. Let's have a look today on the Yamaha Tenere 660cc 129 scale. And of course, it's the Dakar Paris Dakar Rally engine motorcycle from Italy. And we all know Italy, Italy is great, but these are the old Protar kits. And they, uh, well, they release it again. It's the same of my BMW, of course. And good news, breaking news. They also bring out the um, uh, Kajiva Elephant, the Dakar winner. So that's really great. Uh, and I, I absolutely want that uh, model. Uh, but uh, today the uh, Jamaat Henare 660. It's a real nice kit to make. Uh, we have a lot to paint, especially the frame. We have to paint it all red. The white uh, is or the original color from uh, from the kit himself. The tires are rubber. And what absolutely uh, not so great is, is the chain. Um, I will show you in a moment. Uh, we have got uh, a lot of cables and connectors and stuff. Uh, the decals are very good. The fit form is a little bit tricky, especially when you uh, glue the, the, the engine into the frame. And also the, the big body uh, parts are not really a great fit. If you can see it's a little bit not not too, uh, not great is not exactly in the middle but uh, well I'm happy with the with the end result of this thing also you have to paint the whole saddle uh, red but uh, yeah the chain is absolutely not so great because they are all separate parts and you have uh, four layers I can show you in your manual and you have to um, put it on each other and then you have to burn the whole thing uh, together and that looks great but in in the um, in, theor in theory, it looks great, but when you do it in the uh, when you have to do it, where is it now? If look moment, then it's a real hell. Here is it. You can see you have uh, four parts. These are two, uh, two, and then the end, and then you have to burn it with a with a red heated uh, thing or something, so you melt those little parts together and then you cut the whole thing out and then, then you have this uh, but it's absolutely a nightmare it, it's absolutely great that uh, other people who make this model or the old uh, things also the Kajiva has it also this chain when you can make this and you're real uh, well you are lucky you are a real master I also made a mistake you can see the chain is um, uh, uh, not it's below that axle here behind and it had to be uh, over it, but you know, that is uh, not so good for me. But it's absolutely a hell, and the BMW, of course, don't have a chain. It's uh, Cardano, so how you call it. It's uh, easier. You also had a lot of chrome parts, so you have to paint or the the uh, the, um, the spokes and something, the whole wheel. You have to paint it a little bit dark gray. And, and black, if you can see. Um, uh, normally people do remove the chrome before painting, but uh, I don't do that. I just uh, I paint over it. Yeah, I'm really uh, cheap, of course, so I don't use that. Also, I have no idea how to get the chrome parts um, uh, off to, to be white or something. Uh, I use some, uh, some uh, how do you call it, liquids, but uh, it don't work here. So if you have an idea how to idea how to remove chrome parts, the chrome off the parts, how do you do that? Then leave a comment, please. Um, yeah, I must say the decals and stuff is all great. All everything uh, is nice. Uh, we can see upside down. We have a road book. It's not digital or something. Uh, no, a little bit. But uh, hey, it's 1968. So uh, what do you want? We also have a, a little baggage and uh, the two uh, gas tanks, re other side of course, for this monster. The Yamaha Tenere, I absolutely love this model. I like the BMW a little bit more, but that's my opinion. That's uh, personal. Uh, but uh, I own a Yamaha Tenere T7 at this moment uh, for almost half a year. And they have absolutely, uh, it's amazing. I love it to death. <laughs> so, yeah, I will show you a little bit ins and outs. 
it's really nice nice to make it's a little bit pricey for here in Holland uh, 40 what is it 45 uh, euro is um, quite expensive but I must say it's it's quite huge it's a good one to nail nah, one to nine scale so that's absolutely uh, yeah I love it really much also we have time time yes, uh, from 1 to 12 scale uh, I can show you in a moment so what I said I had the Taimia of course this is a 1 to 12 Rothmans uh, NXR from Honda it's a real old kit I uh, make it dirty uh, once I had this as a child uh, I'm uh, not uh, I hope that you're gonna release it someday because I want to make it again but then uh, a little bit uh, better than this thing also I'm missing some parts of it but uh, that's another story but that you can see the scale from 1 to 9 to 1 to 12 scale um, I must say this is a really really a great scale 1 to 9 for motorcycles you see a lot more and uh, it come more to life so uh, yeah so that's my review of a little bit of, of the Yamaha Tenere from Italy and I must say uh, well great done the old pro tuckers are absolutely amazing I'm so happy that they re-release re it and I'm still waiting in February they will when it good is come out with the uh, Kajiva Elephant seven, seven, what is it 750 cc so uh, that's amazing uh, yeah don't be afraid people uh, I still come back with the uh, WW2 uh, war figures of course but uh, also in the Netherlands we have a lockdown so you can go everywhere but uh, you cannot buy uh, everything so also online is a little bit uh, I think too expensive something and um, yeah I cannot uh, order everything uh, so that's a little bit different now that's why the hobby is a little bit on hold at that moment but uh, yeah I see you next time then for more uh, scale kits and especially not, of course the WW2 figures so goodbye I hope you enjoyed it so leave a comment or not enjoy my Facebook WW Facebook you're safe soldier okay goodbye